You know, you'll know the Dragonborn come. Lisette, you sing the song so well that I like you very much. And I am going to go and save Skyrim for you. And then maybe I'll come back and you'll bang my drum. Oh, hi guys. Well, welcome back to the Skyrim playthrough. In the vein of last episode, more training. And I plan on doing much more training in each episode. Well, I'll be, I'll be between each episode, I should say. Because I feel like... I really need to get better now. You see my stalker's bow and arrow that I'm using? That was... Wee! I'll show you that in a minute. It's just as your scrimshaw goes up, you get a little bit more of stuff to craft. And the stalker's bow and arrows are one of them. One of them. I think they have... They are 14, which is quite good. 14 damage. Just get rid of this bear. So I'm trying to, you know, skin everything I possibly can so that I get levels up. Because that's been really handy, the hunter-born arrows. It's the ingredients. So we are going to see Serana, who is up in the northwest. So still going up all the time. Butcher meat. I've got meat at the minute. I made sure I've got meat and water. Let's just show you where I'm up to. So you can create the stalker's arrow which came available. I don't know what level that came available. Suddenly it was there. That's 14 damage. So that's quite good. And I need to just get bits of bone for that and, and dead wood or firewood. So I'll just check where we are going. Probably better off going. Uh, no, I'm going right here. I'm going I'm going in the correct direction. Uh, we're going past the Thalmor Embassy. So what is next with Serana? I think I need to we're going to her mother is hiding right underneath her father's nose in and around Castle Volkihar and she has a bead on where how we might be able to get hold of the Elder Scroll that we are missing. So I'm intrigued to see how that pans out because I have no memory of that at all from my first playthrough of Dawnguard. I've been waiting for to do this for ages. It's a little bit frustrating because I want to get on and play the game but I can't do too much when I'm not recording, so I'm finding that a little bit frustrating, but it's helping that I can do a little bit of grinding now, giving myself that license. Right, Chasing Echoes. Dexium's reading of the Elder Scroll has given risen to more questions than answers. The Moss Priest saw a vision of a weapon called Oriel's Bow, but Sarana and I need to locate two more Elder Scrolls in order to unravel the rest of the prophecy. So we are here. I'm in the right place. She's waiting for me at Castle Valkyha. Okay, hi, Serana. I'm ready if you are. Let's go to the castle's secret entrance. Come on, yeah. it's just around the side. All right, just check the map. Explore Castle Valkyar's courtyard. So I'm quite interested to find out, you know, what is going on with Serana's mum, because she's obviously got her doubts about Castle Valkyar and not aligned with her father, but it's not clear where her mother is coming from. I think I picked up that her mother tried to protect her. Just go and check out what's going on down there, Bran. Okay, we're in combat. That's fine. It's a skeleton. Get in combat. Let's get in combat. One down. Bran is really showing the way here. That's really cool. Right, just watch out for these lightning bolts. Well, he's tougher. I like this. Oh, shit. Okay, gotta be careful. Alright, let's be a little bit more careful. A little bit more sneaky. He's not going in this time. Here comes another icy blast. Oh, it's not got very huge range, has it? Oh, these guys are tough. Knock him off. Wait, he's gone. <laughs> wow, these guys are mental. How much damage they take. That's what I want. That's me. I've got to keep my archery going up. This can't be correct. 
Just how much damage? I'm going to use all my arrows at this rate. I had 200 stalker arrows, I thought. <laughs> Down to 16. Uh, did he kill Serana? I didn't think Serana could die. Can she die? Die you. Uh, he's regening. Jeez. Those are tough. Ancient Nord arrow, Ancient Nord bow. It is at legendary, so I'm going to take that. It's at legendary level. So let me just. There she is. So I don't know what happened to her there. I didn't think she could die. Uh, so she must could just get hammered out of combat and then. What did you need? You know, she comes back later, which is fine. I'm glad I've got that legendary bow. That's a good damage increase. 50. The Undercroft. Ooh. Oh, it's like playing Morrowind. Taking me back to the days when I used to just wander around seeking items and now I have to worry about making an entertaining video. What have I done to myself? The old water cistern. On some yeah. days this would smell just... Be glad you weren't here then. Yeah. Those skeletons were very powerful. So some some dragon did some scary dog things. Okay, see us. How rubbish was that? Jeez, how many of these are there? Who's who's enchanting that flipping skeever? Go, go, go. Dogs, can they enchant skeevers? It's him. Sunlight Stendarzora. So Adept. I should be able to do this. Alright, so I have to stay in range. That's pretty good, isn't it? Got to stay in melee range with him. Well, I like that one a bit better than the vampire's bollocks. Which seem to do nothing. I'm just glowing! Alright, we're doing okay, guys. But these guys are tough. That's okay. Pretty tough guys to fight. Look at that, it's trap chest. Let's try and untrap it. Come on, use your, use your brain. Untrap your chest. Not that stupid. It's like a vampire movie. It's like the vampire bit in a vampire movie. Very nicely designed, isn't it? I wonder why people like vampires and stuff so much to the extent that they were like, let's put that in the game. Let's give people more vampires. What's the appeal of vampires? I can hear more stuff. I can hear you. I can hear you. Where art thou? Got to remember that Serana is not in AFT, so she can get hurt by traps or okay. trigger them. God, all these death hounds. There's loads of them. They're more a nuisance than anything, but they do move fast. Burn! Burn! So I can really just stand and, like, block, can't I? And Stendhal's aura will take them out. Okay, well, it's a strategy. It is a strategy, actually. It's quite a strong strategy, which I'm going to have to use. We get my armor up, smithing up, all sorts of awesome skills. He doesn't seem interested in us. Of course he's going to be. There's no way I'm going to be able to get around that. He's not coming for us though, is he? He will do though. I'm not, I'm not even risking it. Quite spooky, isn't it? Like really cool environments. It's like vampire's lair. The skull in the web there. That's awesome. Die, spider. Die, Shellob. Son of Shellob. That's it. It's open. It appears so. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going, guys. Oh, this is so cool. This is really cool. I love this place. I don't love it. You know what I mean? It's just awesomely designed and cool it's giving me the, that kind of horror vampire movie vibe it is very awesome and it's also reminding me of and using the spells and stuff and figuring out how to kill these enemies is making me think of you know when i used to play these games when i was younger and having to figure it out like i can't just rely on arrows i've got a legendary bow there that is doing bugger all to them so I've got to figure out like spells and different strategies and that's awesome. I love it. I love it. 
Sometimes I wish I had the basic dragon shout just to knock them away from me. I'm not ready to do the dragonborn stuff yet though. You know, I said I was not going to go for magic and stuff, be more of a melee focused sort of hunter type, but if it turns out the magic is the just way that will do. If magic is the way that I'm defeating stuff, then I'll have to change that. Good job that I got the those vampire spells and I've been leveling restoration, so that's to the courtyard. fortunate. Oh no. What is it? What's wrong? What's happened, Serana? What happened to this place? Everything's been oh. torn down. The whole place looks well dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Really? It's kind of weird, isn't it? This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. So he's, he's like using part of the castle. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Oh. Wait. A shame. What a shame, Mrs. Serana. Is there something we can do about it? What's this? Missing crest. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Hmm. I'm on the case. You, you didn't realize you brought Skyrim's version of Sherlock Holmes with you. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Soon figure this out. This pointy thing goes down here. Um. And all these, like, coin-shaped things, they're significant. How many do you think there might be? There's one missing crest. So there's one missing crest there. Oh, two on that side. One, three, I think. Yeah, I, I'll have a look around, see if there's anything in here. I'll take the nightshade. Since no one's tending it, we better do. There's that thing. Full moon. Hopefully they're all out here and I don't have to go inside sneaking around flipping vampires. Yeah. Got that as well. I don't want to go wandering through the castle if I can help it. I think there's only three. Three that I saw there. Where's the other one? Come on, where are you? There's lots of little. This is good. I like this. Is it in the water? There it is. That was easy. Right. One. Two. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the number. It's like a cannon rotating. Mother, very clever. Mother, I've never I'm not your mother. I'm not before. your mother. Right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Okay. Let's go down. We're not going into the courtyard, into the main castle. That would be crazy. Let's see what's next. Ooh, it's scary. It's scary and cool. I like it. Anyone in here? Serana's mother. Are you here? Okay, I'm just having a little bit of an explore, you never know. Got lots of salt in this place. Canis root. Dry delves here. Yeah. We're getting close. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure of it. Ah, be quiet, woman. Is that it? There's nothing else in there? Shh, quiet. That's us. There is an undead. I'm going to use this. <laughs> I am so sucky. Alright, that's a lot of skeletons. So Stendar's aura is pretty awesome. Let's get in here and kill some shit. Uh, run, 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 run. Heal up and back in like a boss. Pull it, pull it. That's a gargoyle. Oh my lord. Behind you, Bran. Look out. Turn around. You mad dog. Duck. Ah, shit. Serana. A hell of a time to bug out. Come down here, Bran. Let's see if we can get Serana to do something. There we are. I just want to try Stendhal's aura and see if it hurts him. 
that hurting him? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. We are the holy warriors of Skyrim and we shall not let you win, you gargoyle bastard. It looks very cool though. I like the character model. Bran is okay. This guy has no DPS at all, so as long as I don't get killed by him, we're okay. He heals pretty quick though, doesn't he? Got him. What a team. What a team. Go on, just give in. Nice. Ancient Nord Bow is now epic, as opposed to legendary. Flawless, exquisite. Yeah, it's not too bad, the loot and degradation. It just gives you something. So a, a little bit of realism, managing your gear and stuff, but it's not horrible. But I would definitely recommend putting it on the highest, kind of, or the slowest degradation. Everything else is far too fast. You know, who would create the kind of armor that disintegrates that fast? It's ridiculous. I think I need a rest. I think I need a rest. Let's have a bit of a rest and lay up for a little while. And then we can... I know. And I just need... I need to sleep. I know you don't, but some of us need to sleep. Can't sleep with our enemies nearby. Maybe if I go further down the dungeon. Find somewhere. Are you people sleep? Where's your beds? God, don't want to sleep in the torture room. About right here. Sleep in the courtyard? You guys just kill him, will you? Really haven't got time for this shit. Come on, you feral bastard. Getting in the way of my plans. All I want to do is sleep. All I want to do is sleep. I like the little effect coming off him there, like his skin is just burning away. Oh my god, feral vampire beast. Stendhal's light works on him, which is good. And I've hit Serana, she's going to aggro me. Really annoying. That's why AFT is so important. Well, this is a weird sort of strategy, but... Get out the way, Serana. I actually want her in melee range. She's going to keep killing me. Wow, it's hammering Bran. This is just an inconsequential NPC that turned up. You'll be all right, dude. Just got to be careful with each shot. Moving in front of my arrows, you annoying cow. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. Did he explode? There we go. Bugs out a little bit. That usually tells me that that creature is from immersive creatures. Because I don't think any of the normal ones do that. Well, maybe they do. Right, let's find somewhere to... Let's sleep in the corner here. Put the rough bedding down and have a sleep. Just out of the way. Hopefully no one will see us down here. Sleeping in the cord. Like the rough bedding. You wouldn't set up a tent in the courtyard of a evil vampire, would you? Sleep. Let's try six hours, seven hours. Whoa. I want all my armor back up. Let's do the fur braces. Get them back up to flawless condition. See if we can do this. So just thinking about Restoration Necromage. Doing a little bit of research. And I don't think Necromage is a 25% bonus to strength against the strength of spells against undead. If it was 50, I might have gone for it, but I'm not I've never liked those spells and weapons in RPGs that affect a certain class of enemy. I'd rather more broadly increase strength against everything. I don't know. It doesn't seem huge, 25%. And at some point, you know, you switch away from undead to dawn guard to find something else and then you've got a perk that kind of isn't really helping very much so god there's lots of these little that out of the way <laughs> pull the coins on the floor are you gonna come to life no yeah i like this spell just didn't think i would ever use this but it is very useful it seems like a nice summon now uh, yeah all that delving into dungeon depths i imagine that i picked that up I did pick it up there, didn't I? So it was worthwhile. Okay, this is good. Doing some damage to these guys now. Party of summoned creatures and dogs and vampires. Who's up here? Anyone? Anyone good? Another gargoyle. A gargoyle brute. Go. Go, my automaton. Destroy. Regenerate. And the aura doesn't work on these guys. We got it, we got it, we got it. Got some kind of strategy that seems to be working here. We'll use whatever means necessary. Drawing this bow, actually, it's very tiring. Wow. Shit. 
Okay, so let's use all our strategies all together at once to defeat the Skellingtons. Skeleton Ice Mage. Wow, there's a lot of them there. Go on, Brant. Distract the... Oh, oh. Shit. Everything is really powerful. I just have to watch for myself, really. And make sure I don't die. That's always the way, isn't it, with this bloody playthrough? Right. Let's get them in the bottleneck. Summons Animunculi! Shoot. Hit. Kill. Yeah. And you. Ow. Right. Come out. <laughs> Where are you, fucks? There you are. Knobs. They can really hurt hard with these arrows at a distance. Oh, that was a good shot. Why you didn't stay long enough? I like Stendhal's aura. It's awesome. Feel like I'm learning skills to fight the vampires, which I I'm literally doing. Come up with a strategy. Get in there. It's good as well because it doesn't draw aggro. You can literally. It's a bit silly. You can sort of stand in the middle of battle. Let's eat, eat and drink. Orc loaf. Bit more water. It's thirsty work. That looks suspicious. I've seen one of your kind before. Oh, one sitting on the top of a ladder. Never seen that before. Maybe he's like a interior decorator gargoyle. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Hello. Wow, charging gargoyle. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Everyone, everyone, pick an enemy. Let's go for this guy. You just keep him busy, Bran. That's good. I love that, that animunculary. It's kind of... I think it has quite good resistances. See, it certainly seems to be lasting a while. Go, go, go. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Conjuration is going up. This one seems to regenerate faster than the brute. Maybe it's just me. Good. Getting lots of good loots off these gargoyles, rubies, gemstones, always good. I, I'm, I'm starting enchanting stuff, like making expensive jewellery, then enchanting it, and it you get some good money for that stuff. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. Really, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Couldn't you familiar? Well, I can fire and forget that, I guess. That's going to be very weak. Vampire royal armor. It's stuck. How do we do it? Is it in one of these coffins? Slightly tired. Let's sleep for um, two hours. <laughs> Funky. Just thinking it might fall away into the wall or something. Let's be sensible. Let's think. Ah, oh, there we go. So she's in here, is she? Somewhere. Oh, that's mammoth skull. Look at that. Look at this place. Mm. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool. What can we do with it? Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about Dragon the circle, bone. but it's obviously something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Right. Research notes. Explore Castle Volkia's ruined town, locate Valerica's journal. Okay, your mother maintains quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. What was she working on? Looking at the equipment and materials, mm. looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. To what I end? That's exactly what I was going to say. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Hmm. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. <laughs> is that like she's shagging the... Is that what she means? Tell me about them. I don't know... There's not a whole lot to tell. 
Yeah. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough. All right. So I thought she was going to be an ally, so it sounds like you don't like either of them. It's not that simple. I guess it never is with families, right. is it? What about you? What were your parents like? Very nice. Can't wait to see them again. We didn't really get along. I never knew them. I grew up alone. They were good people. Yeah, go oh, for them. I'm sorry. Them. I didn't mean to bring up a bad memory. Yeah, well, they probably passed away at this stage. We should keep moving. It's fine. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Oh, we shared a moment there. That's nice. I like sharing moments with um, NPCs. Must be in here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, there it is. For all Valerica's journal. Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy... Shall I do it in her voice? Harkon's short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy... I won't do that. Would cast far too much light on our people, and yet she refuses... He refuses to listen to a word I say. I've become less a wife and more an annoyance in his sight. Devoted attention to my work is the only solace I can find. To wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the ball. I'm listing the components below. Aha! Without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I am combining my own blood to the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and following me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salts, and soul gem shards. Okay. Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Okay, so she did you put did? Serana in see. Dim Hollow, hid her from Harkon. I only know what she told me. So what is this she had a soul, about soul care? Gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Hmm. Cairn is this type of tomb. I know that much. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Fools. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly. To travel to the soul cairn itself. To escape? Presumably. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul what care. do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Oh, bugger. Hmm, not bad. We My character is cleverer enough. than I am. I wouldn't have suggested. Kind of portals can be gruesome. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's Might as well. Lots of good alchemy stuff here, which is a nice bonus. There's the purified void salt, soul gem shards, got em, and bone meal. Done. Done and done. That's it. Place the ingredients in the vessel, then stab Serana to death. Let's get the portal open. All right, here goes. No time like the present. Oh! All right, let's get in there. We're off. No messing about. Go. Go. Okay. Are you alright? That was painful. <laughs> what happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. Uh, yeah, yeah, and heads up about that might have been good. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. Oh god, here I could we go. probably go through there without a problem. Yeah. Not your first choice, I guess? No. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. It's interesting, isn't it? I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. 
it might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Well, I'm going to stick to character, and I think I'll stay for a partially trapped soul. I know this is fits my character for you. better. Stick to my guns regarding. I never do anything that could hurt you. We we're not that close, though. I don't get the sense that we're that close. <laughs> um, as you wish. All right. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Let's see what she does. Trap me soul. <laughs> just, just little little jig there. Do, do. All right, so we're going into the soul can. So next episode, we're looking for her mother. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ah. No, no, no.